There you are, Dutch. Molly, my dear. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. Reverend. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly.
forgive me, Miss Grimshaw. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I hear you. Actually, I'll come back to you later, okay? Designed to float. Ain't forgotten you. Not for all this.
much, girl. You're looking real nice today, Phil. Shut up. <laughs> Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you that.
be more. Ah! You see that window in Shaw's skull? Don't talk to me about slap. Better in here, not there. the others, your women, your children, will bleed them all out one by one. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Last chance. Die in there cowering like a dog. Or come out and face it like a man. You want us to come out? We'll come out. on the ground now both of you don't do it you know we can't do that you put the gun down chef i'll blow his brains out you want to join your little friend there do you either way you're a dead man 
Morgan? Here's a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you. Let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? 
Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned ah! every stone. Christ! Now, Jack, we should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this...
and pushed up against it. Jack's not down here. Let's go check upstairs. Are you in there? Open the goddamn door! Shit! John! Arthur! We got more coming in! Arthur, get out there! We got this door covered! Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? Ah! <laughs> 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 let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. <laughs> Boy, sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Uh, guess that. Oh, man. 
I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint-Denis. 
I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. 